What is she trying to say? Is she trying to say I'm mannish? So I'll give her a penis. Hello, this is KF Breen, and today I am going to open a mystery box. This mystery box comes to us from Leah Stone, the fabulous author. You probably know of her. I should have all of my equipment out in front of me like a professional. Instead, I have my equipment scattered around the place because I forgot about that stuff. Don't mind the reach. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, obviously, scissors, tools, box, whatever's going to be inside of it. She's a really nice person. She writes young adult, so I feel like, and she's very mystic. I feel like there's going to be like rocks, like penny rocks, right? And like stone bracelets and like a removable chi maybe she just like takes a chi out of her body and sends it i don't think that's possible but with her it could be so let's see da, 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 da. we're opening don't do that towards your face i just did and if you can hear that that's my neighbor in a stupid car it's really loud he really likes his cars. Okay. It's open. I'm excited. I don't know what it's going to be. I hope it's not too weird. Okay. The box is half full. Normally I would say half empty. You're welcome. These things, which I'm going to keep and reuse because um, they're good for packing. This is why they're used. Okay. okay I'm not even going to look. I'm just gonna dig my hand in and see what I get. I hope it's not slimy. Ooh, book, let's see if it's signed. Sign, oh, can you see it? You can't see it. Oh, see, what's shadow? There's lights. Oh gosh, oh yeah, this is working. Mm. Anyway, it's signed, if you can see there. Fallen Academy, year one, great book, doing super well. The whole series people are in love with it. If you want to win a copy of this awesome book, uh, put a comment in the comment section below and I'll wait a week or so and then I'll pick someone at random, comment with, I want the book because I'm sure there'll be other things I'll be giving away as well. So if you want this, comment for it. I will randomly pick and send it to you. Well, email you or something. Oh, I almost got two. The original Wiener Cleaner Soap. No. <laughs> what? It's supposed to be like a fun little rock or a cheese. She gave me a penis soap. What is she trying to say? Is she trying to say I'm mannish? So I'll give her a penis. A clean one. Right. So adequate size. I mean, I feel like you definitely have to, a guy has to be hard to use this adequately. Oh my God. It's a masturbation tool. She sent a woman a man's masturbation. Is it for my husband? Is she like, here's your get out of sex free card? Genius. She's a genius. I mean, should I give this away or should I be like, here, hubby, have a shower. I'm not in the mood. I'll keep it. I don't know. If you want it, I'll be gracious. If you want it for the special man in your life that isn't so special sometimes that you'd rather just send them to the shower with a bar of a round bar of soap comment below otherwise you're welcome hubby this jerk off's on leah okay moving on oh i peaked i'm sorry we're not surprised you're surprised i'm not surprised girl code i don't know what this is let's see girl code unlocking the secrets to success sanity and happiness for the female entrepreneur, uh, girl code, and it's got a bar barcode on it. I'm going to tell you something about this. Success, sanity, and happiness. Instead of girl code, I use wine. That works for me. But, awesome. Female entrepreneur, either girl code or wine, maybe both. Try to get blasted on wine. Read some of this. Zen out. Have a good day. It's all in the cards for you. So if you want girl code, I don't even know if it's signed. She probably just bought it. I could scribble Kara Alwill's 
Leba. Leba is her last name. That reminds me of labia. I mean, she gave me penis soap and then a book with the last name Leba. Obviously, I'm going to make the connection of labia. You know, genital. It's genital day here on Leah's soapbox. So if you want, comment with, uh, I want girl code, fucker. If you don't want to swear, you don't have to swear, but you can swear if you want to swear. Okay, what do we got in here? Mm -hmm. Something I have to open. I almost was like, what should I do with it? Should I put it back in if I'm going to ship it? Maybe I should, actually. So I'm glad I thought about that for two seconds. Just one more chapter. Pillowcase. Ooh. Just one more chapter pillowcase. But the thing is, so it's a little coarse. It's hard. And my assistant, Carrie, recently told me that you should use satin pillow covers instead of cotton because satin doesn't give you near as many wrinkles. And she said, have you heard that like five times? And so I'm not sure that's true. But she quickly went out and bought some satin pillows, not even pillowcases, but satin pillows. So she clearly was not taking any risks. Um, so you may not rub your face on this, but you can certainly like, I mean, you have to put a pillow in it, right? Put a pillow in it and you just, you just, amazing. Look at that arm span. Caw, caw, caw. It's like a buzzard. It's like a albino buzzard. All right. So if you want this handy dandy possible wrinkle causing pillowcase for your back, back wrinkles are okay. It's the face wrinkles you really have to worry about. Back, nobody cares about back wrinkles so much, unless there's hair on it as well. And then you probably just have to go with it because that's your lot in life. So if you want hairy back wrinkles and also this pillowcase, I will give them away. I'm not sure about how I'm going to give away hairy back wrinkles, but I'll figure it out, probably. Maybe I'll write it on a potato. So comment for this. I will eventually put it back in the thing. And it will be gorgeous when you receive it. What else is in here? Let's see. Ooh. She's opened it. She's had a peeky. She probably got two of these. And it came with this, so she had to take this out for her husband. She was like, okay, one for you, one for me, one for the neighbor, just to, you know, keep the whole neighborhood happy. Let me just put that penis soap out the way. Okay, what do we got? Oh. Oh. Oh, speaking of hairy back wrinkles, here's a hairy front wrinkle. It doesn't, it's not for the penis soap. It's not for the penis soap. That's a belly button. It's a belly button fanny pack. It's probably one of the grossest things you'll ever see. Let's try it on, shall we? Beep, beep. Okay, let's try it on. Cause that's what my life is now. You too can be a model. What I really think we should do. Now that's, that's fine. You know, you can store your penis soap in here if you want. I'm sorry you can't see my head, but maybe that's just a privilege. Store your penis soap. You know, you can store other stuff like if you're a klepto and you're like, oh, visited an office and I need that. And you're like, oh, what else can I store? And you're like, oh, I might need to charge my phone later. And I realize I'm making sounds like a Yeti. Oh, get in there. Okay, that's good. We're just gonna zip that on up. So now you've got. The thing is, my window's open. People can see in, I'm sure, but that's all right. This is what they're gonna be looking at. Okay, now to make it even better. Ready? I mean, I'm not going to give this away because I just shoved it in my pants, but I don't want to give it to the person that wants that, right? Now I'm just like lounging. What if I'm just like... 
Bring me beer. What's up? Yeah, so that's the fanny pack. Thank you, Leah. It will be treasured. She's up in the ante. She's up in the ante. Things are gonna get serious on these mystery boxes. What do we got here? It feels like more soap. It is more soap. Dead spa soap. That's not what it says. It says Dead Sea Soap. Dead Sea Soap, one with nature, rose petal, triple milled mineral soap, argon oil and shea butter. So a bunch of crap, I don't know what it is. So it's soap. You know how soap leaves you like a little film and your skin feels unnaturally dry? Do you get that? I get that. I don't use soap for that reason. I mean, I'll, I'll even have to give this away because I'm not gonna use it. But it feels like, I feel dirtier than if I just didn't use the soap. So that's not good. Comment in the comments section if you want the soap. You know what to do by now. What's next? Is there anything? Okay, there's, let's see, there's gonna be one, two, one, two, three items, four items left in here. A keychain. Ho, ho, ho. I use this one all the time. I use this all the time. I'm going to save this for just a random swag. If you get this, oh, I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to put this and one of these giveaway items. So I'm going to give, pick a winner for one of these items. And then I'm going to put this in that item. And then if you get this in the mail, if you're lucky enough to get one of these things and also this, then you email or comment or come at me somehow. I'm sure you can find me. Um, and I will send you a signed book Ooh, back there. I'll send you one of my signed books. So you'll not only get one of these items and this funny little keychain, but you'll get one of my signed books. So bonus. I feel like I should have dancing girls. Screw that. Cause I'm a girl. I should have dancing guys. They're like bonus, bonus, bonus. Checking sure no one's watching. Okay, what's next? It's wrapped with a little bow, but that kind of gives it away. I mean, why did they do that, I wonder? Boop! Boop! Why is there a peep show? What? Oh my god, because it's Jeff Bezos, right? His whole life now is peep shows. He's chasing mistresses, he's running around planes, probably with his dingling hanging out. Right? He's probably got penis soap in every freaking bathroom he has just in case. And he's got peep shows on his gift cards. I mean, he's branding. Good call, Jeff. Good call. Right. So if you want a Jeff Bezos Amazon Pikachu gift card for $25, I don't know if this is only good in America or not. So I'm going to say this is US only just in case case because I don't know how that works. So I, I'm going to say this is just US only. I am sorry, but if you get a $25 gift card that you can't use, everybody loses, right? So um, go ahead and comment for the Peep Show gift card. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look through it because somebody went to the trouble of making this. Who was the poor sod that had to catch all the dogs pooping in different places? Because you can't have them all at the dog park. And how odd is that? This guy with a camera wandering around. No, no, I'm not interested in your bathroom and my name's not Tom. I'm interested in your dog shitting. What do you think the owners are gonna do? Be like, what are you gonna rub it on yourself? I just spit a little bit. That's how grossed out I was. Maybe I should learn to, I was going to say I should learn to swallow and then the penis soap popped into my head and I don't want to give the husband that impression, right? I don't need to learn to swallow. You've got your penis soap. All right, let's check out. Fuck me. Golly. I'm like looking for the poop. I'm like having a look to see if I can see the dog fucking shitting. My God, that was two squares right in a row. I think it warrants it. I'm going to show you. Dog shit. Ting. Dog shit ting. It's not as gross when it's in the act because it is kind of a cute dog. Is it his? It's not his dog. Maybe it's just random. Oh, it says where it is too. If you want to go catch, maybe see if you can't find that poop, you can go to Sky. 
Oh, it's Sky. This is probably the dog. Guilford, New Hampshire. Look for some lovely river, nice little patch of snow, gorgeous scenery, and some steaming dog shit. Happy days. Welcome to your Monday. Okay. Oh, Tango. February. There's Tango. He's like, can I take a shit in peace? Come on, fucker. For all of February, hundreds of people. I'm not going to say millions because not millions of people are putting this up on their wall. And I'm a little worried about the people that are. Hundreds of people are watching poor Tango take a shit. No privacy with dog owners. They're nuts. I'm a dog owner. I'm starting to question my own sanity now. Oh, God. Oh, what's happening with his face? And it's sloppy. This one's just not. I'm going to show you. Feel my pain. I'm going to show you. Look at his face. Look at that thing's face. It's a thing at this point because he's turned into a thing. He's not even a dog anymore. He's like a werewolf in the middle of a change who suddenly got a case of horrible diarrhea, had to stop changing into it because he's got a shit. And then some idiot here is with a camera watching the whole thing. This poor fucking dog is like, can I catch a break? I'm trying to be bigger and badder than I already am. I got a case of the runs and you're catching on fucking camera, you dick. I'm not going to turn the next page. I'll just look at the back. See if there's any that you need to see. There is one. There is one you need. To, oh, this guy's in the river. So look at this guy. Darla. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, that's why. Darla knows what's up. She's a girl. Look at this. She's got the leash on. She knows that her stupid fucking owner is watching her take a shit. She knows it. You can see in her little, in her humpty back, this is bullshit, I'm humiliated stance, and her big droopy eyeballs, that she knows what's going on, and she is just not having it, but there's nothing she could do, she's got the leash still on, she can't go for a run, she's going to get snagged on the rocks and probably choke herself. Poor Darla. Well, Leah, I hope you feel good about yourself. Moving on from Darla. I think this is the last one. Did she regift me? Did she regift me? I'm feeling it right now. It feels like a uh, deodorant. And I don't need it. So I think she's she didn't sense it. I think she's regifting. Okay, now I can't remember. Did I send her Dove Men? Or did I send her speed stick? Do you remember? Put in the comments if you remember. I don't. I thought I sent her speed stick, but she might be regifting. Oh, I forgot to say. If you want a bunch of dog shitting. Poor Darla. If you want to see poor Darla in your own hands, comment. I'll judge a little. I probably want to probably stop caring almost immediately. This bitch is going to get regifted. Let's see if we can't keep this going. So this has been in, let me get my supplies. So this has been in California. I'm gonna sign it. I just ruined everything. I signed it with my actual real name. So now I'm not gonna do what I was gonna do. I was gonna like pass it around and have it all signed. Boo. So this that I have scribbled on it's gonna go, I guess, I guess actually, why would I throw it away? I'm gonna put it in my, my husband's travel bag or my travel bag, cause I don't care. I don't care if it's men's or women's. Um, unless it smells like an old man. I mean, I'll use men's, but I don't wanna smell like an old man. So that's it. It's not it. My bad. Oh, yee, unicorn. Little unicorn keychain. I'm not gonna do bonus with this one. You can't have two bonuses. You can only have one bonus. I'm gonna keep this one and I'm gonna just flaunt it near my kids and see which one flips out. Yes, I'll give it to one of them. But anyway, it's really cute. All right, thank you for joining me. It was super fun. I had a really good time. It's fun seeing what other people randomly send you. Uh, next up is going to be a box from my assistant, Carrie. She's a nutcase. 
for my birthday, she always sends me random weird stuff. Just weird random stuff. And that's supposed to be normal stuff. And so I told her, you can send me anything you want. And it's going to be funny and I'm going to open it and react to it. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be crazy. I'm, I'm a little scared. I thought this was going to be pretty tame. And now I'm wondering if it is going to be pretty tame and Carrie's going to be crazy. So hit subscribe. And then when the next mystery box comes along, you can watch me open it and then win some prizes. All right. Have a good one. Put your comments in the thing. Whatever. The, I don't know the terminology. I'm old. I'm not used to YouTube. I'm just going to start this all over. Dead Sea Spa. Oh, the Dead Sea. That's like a thing. Geography of a Californian. What's that? Entrepreneur. That's friends for, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Look at my nose. Well, I ruined it. I ruined everything. I ruined everything. I always ruin everything. This is the glamour of the job. Trying on hairy belly button fanny packs. Welcome to authorhood. Anyway, so if you want some Dead Sea soap, no, that's not, I'm just making up names for it. Sorry, Tango. Everybody's gonna watch you take a shit now. Hang out next time or hang your Thanks for coming. You didn't come anywhere. And then next time, I better start that over. Super. I don't know where to subscribe is. Okay.